Okay, here we go in three, two, one. It's got little diamonds. It's looking. Oh, did you hear that? Something's coming in. Yes. Oh, do we do we get a fairy? Hello. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Hey, we got the all new Got to Glow Fairy Finders because if you can't find a fairy, these will. And we got a total of three of them. And you're like, wait a second, there's only supposed to be two. Well, we got the limited edition. In fact, let's go over them one by one here, guys. Let's start with the first one. So you can see it got to glow fairy finder and it can find 30 fairies in this jar. No, it's got a plus there. So it's over 30 fairies in this jar. And it says the more you play, the more you find. Well, you got a little try me there. So when you have the story, you can go ahead and push it and see how it glows. It says catch the magic glow. There's two jars to collect. When you're looking at these two, these are the only two you can collect. But if you find limited edition, it says there's three jars you can collect. And it says you can trade fairies with friends. Hey, that's nice. Except if you give your friend an ultra rare, then there's gonna be a fairy fight. I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> and you got a little bit of a description there. It says product and colors may vary. The packaging is not a toy and shouldn't be left unattended with children. It should be kept because it contains important information. And then it says the contents is one fairy jar, one instruction manual, and it contains three AA batteries. So starting at the bottom of the cylinder, you can see two fairies there. And one of them looks like a dude. Yeah, finally we got a dude fairy. Although he looks like he's got cat ears or it could be devil horns. I'm not sure which. But as you go up through the flowers, you'll see other fairies and those are the common fairies that you can collect. Then as you turn the cylinder over, hey, there's our rare fairies. You got a total of six to collect there. Keep turning it. And then you got two in the ultra rares. And then down below, legendaries. You got a total of three. And hey, another dude. He's got a musical note on his chest. That's cool. Oh, and then you can go to the other side of the canister here and see more common fairies. And there's quite a few of them all the way down to the bottom where actually you have a merman and a poofy belly fairy. <laughs> Well, there's the top of the fairy jar. Well, the fairy cylinder that contains the jar. And then at the bottom, got to grow, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, and guys, on the bottom, well, we were tinkering around, as in Tinker Bell, with one of the fairy finders opening up. You know, see how it works and everything before we got into this vid. And you see the difference between the two? Which one of these doesn't have instructions? <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are watching because if you get one that doesn't have any instructions, to actually get it out, you'll need to open up at the bottom. In fact, we got both of these from the same store and both of them don't have the instructions. The blue one does and the uh, pink one, the one that we opened. So you know, just a special note. I don't know who at the factory, you know, forgot to slap one of these things on, but there you go. Yeah, it is sticky. Hopefully it doesn't peel off Wanda. WandaVision, the Scarlet Witch. You know, I think that fairies and witches are enemies. I mean, think of Sleeping Beauty. I mean, you had the three fairies against that uh, Maleficent and she was, I mean, she looked like a witch. So the first thing we wanna do is to cut the bottom here, as it says in step one of this disc here. In fact, I don't think you actually have to cut the bottom, maybe just the tape that goes around it. So to do that, I got my Swiss Army knife. Parents don't let kids play with the Swiss Army knife, but it's nice to make those clean little incisions for the tape that's got this disc sealed in. Then you got this little, uh, it's kind of like a hole here. You can just put your fingernail in and start pulling. And look at that. That is sticky stuff. That's how you catch your fairy. Just leave that out. You know, fly paper. I think that's the backup in case if this thing doesn't work. And then at the bottom here, you got these little plastic dealies. You're supposed to turn them. Oh, if you turn the wrong direction, it's like, oh, it hurts. Hey, anyway, twist it the right direction. Oh, I think it's the other direction for this one. Okay. And then once you twist them right, they come right on out. Nice. So now you can, you know, cut the top of, pull it off, and then it pulls out. So back to our knife. And we're just gonna find a little place right here between the top lid and the rest of the cylinder. Oh, look at that, it's like butter. It just cuts, oh, that's so smooth. Oh my goodness, this is the best opening yet. I give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just awesome. Nice. Oh, look. And you got a little wreath, you know. It's like Caesar. Come forth, my friends. Give an ear. No, it's actually a little holder for this thing. So let's go ahead and pull it out. There you go. Oh, there's your fairy jar. And you got the two sides that you're going to put this little handle on. It pops right into place. See that? And you put that in the hole. Pops it right into place. Nice, satisfying snap. Oh, and you know what? Oh, inside. I was looking. I'm like, how do you operate this fairy catcher? And you got the instructions on the inside. Nice, looks pretty detailed. So there's the front and there's the back. 
Now on the front, it says at the bottom of the jar to go ahead and power it on. But before you power it on, you ought to know something. And we didn't catch this until, well, after we opened our first jar. You see the heart here? When you flip it down, it means the jar is closed so it can't catch any fairies, right? So if you go ahead and you turn it on, it's going to be in fairy catching mode. So with this lid open, it'll try to catch a fairy. In case you're not prepared to catch a fairy, then I go ahead and shut that, okay? And then I would go ahead and go down to the bottom and you got your uh, switch right there and there's three different uh, modes. You have on, off, and try me. And right now it's on try me. So I'll go ahead and flip it all the way to on. So guys, you can see right there that the arrow's pointing up to the top of the jar and it wants you to open up the lid that's closed so you can catch a fairy and you can hear the sounds of it. Open me up, okay. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. It's got little diamonds. It's looking. Oh, did you hear that? Something's coming in. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, do we do we get a fairy? Hello. Well, that's right. So to trap her, we have to shut the lid. Okay, so let's open it up, see if it finds another fairy. What do we, who do we get? Okay guys, I turn off the lights so you can see what the jar looks like and also the fairy. It looks really good in the dark. Oh look, and the jar lights up as she talks or moves about. Let's go ahead and move in closer because I want to show you guys all the different reactions you can get out of your fairy by pressing these three buttons, left, right, and there's one at the bottom right here. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and first press the left button. Again. Again. Oh, you're getting quite a few emotes. <laughs> she tooted? Oh man, she must have eaten something bad. Okay, let's do the right this time, see if we can improve our luck. Oh, there she goes. Okay, let's do it again. Nice. <laughs> again. That's cool. Now you can have your fairy fly left if you push and hold the button down. Then fly right, push and hold down the right. Now to give your fairy a hug, push both buttons down at the same time. Uh, let's try it again. Give her another hug. See if she does something different. Oh, there you go. Three kisses on that one instead of just one. Uh, uh, oh, fairies are allergic to jars. <laughs> okay, guys, now let's feed our fairy. Go ahead and push the bottom button. Try to take a guess before I push the button what fairies eat. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and push it again see if there's any other treats. Num, num, num. Pizza. Num, 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 num. <laughs> okay. <Yummy>. Oh, <laughs> she did a tutu. Well, she can't have pizza again because that just gives her gas. Let's... <laughs> well, all that eating would wear me out. Let's do it again. Push the button one more time. Num, num, num. Donut. Num, num, num. Ooh, cake. Nice. Num, 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 num. Avocado. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, another thing you guys can do with your fairy is you can turn the jar upside down. Oh, look at that. She's just spinning. Okay, she doesn't like being upside down. Let's put her upside. Oh, there she goes. She's just going to get all dipsy doodle. Just be careful. Don't tip that jar too many times. So to capture another fairy, you want to make sure that you don't leave the jar in the same place because what we learned if you do, you're just going to get the same fairy pretty much. Well, first of all, let's open the lid, okay? And then you hit the bottom button twice. Now it's looking for a fairy. If you tilt it upside down, oh, look at that. 
The ferry's coming in through the bottom. Hey! Okay, guys. Now, let's close the lid so we can keep the ferry. Make this her home. Oh, look at that. Uh, she's an upside down fairy. <laughs> Is she going to stay that way forever? And then you can go ahead and push your left buttons, right buttons to get reactions out of her. Hold them both down at the same time to get other reactions. And then fly left to hold the left button down, fly right. Now let's go ahead and do the bottom button. And instead of feeding her by pressing it once, let's hold it down to bring up the settings. There you go. There's your settings. First of all, you can look at your collection, how many fairies you collected so far. Let's go ahead and hit the right button and go through the other options. There's the fairy collecting stars. Let's hit again and hit it again. And look, oh, you can share fairies. There's a share fairy setting. Now, don't share fairies unless you're sure to get the legendaries. <laughs> and then go, there's the settings. If you hit the button on the settings here, it'll bring up the option where you can either turn down the volume and if you hit the bottom button it mutes it completely hit it again it brings up the first bar again to the second bar and then to go to full volume hit it again so you got all three bars highlighted and then go ahead and hit over and you can adjust the brightness of it hit once dims it hit it again really dim so if you really want to go for the night light effect turn down the brightness all the way let's go ahead and hit one more time and bring back the full brightness and then you can push and hold it down to go back to your fairy oh she's still upside down okay let's hold it down again go back and let's take a look at our collection let's hit it we got five fairies we've been kind of messing around with this a little bit we've got our first fairy oh our upside down fairy cake <laughs> and there's two of five and there's three of five and there's our diamonds. Diamonds are our girl's best friend. Well, that diamond fairy reminds me of Ariana Grande, the legendary fairy on Fortnite. I mean, look at her diamonds all over her. Her wings, her dress. Okay, they're crystals, but you know, they could be diamonds. They glitter, they shimmer, they shine. Oh, and this last one, she's an upside down one, but she's a legendary, guys. If you notice her shape, the way her legs are positioned, the wings on her back, you look on that uh, canister, she is a legendary. Woo! I mean, what would happen if I turned the jar upside down on an upside down fairy? Would she look right side up? Oh, oh now she looks right side up. Ooh. Okay, so we got the user's manual and the introduction. With this magical got to glow fairy finder, the wonderful world of fairies is now at your fingertips. There are fairies all around us. How many will you find? From upside down to glow in the dark, common to legendary, there are over 30 unique fairies to find in this jar and over 100 fairies to find in total. The more you play with your jar, the more fairies you will catch. You can play, feed, and say hello to every fairy you have found. You can share fairies with friends to grow your collections. Open your fairy finder lid and see who flies in. And here's the important information. Take note of the following when playing with Magical Fairy Finder. To avoid discomfort or injury, do not place Magical Fairy Finder on or near a person's head or face. Do not immerse Magical Fairy Finder or any of its parts in water or any other form of liquid. If your Magical Fairy Finder gets dirty, you can spot clean with a clean cloth. Do not submerge. Do not use chemical or abrasive cleaners. Do not drop, throw, or kick Magical Fairy Finder as this may damage mechanical functions. Guys, you ever play kick the can? Well, you're not playing kick the bottle here. You know, hey, it's digital, these fairies. You'll break it and it'll all leave. Do not leave Magical Fairy Finder unattended near edges, which it could fall. Ah! Okay, now that we got our first Got to Glow Fairy Finder, and it's pink, it looks pretty. Now we want to open up the next one, the blue. Now, what you want to keep in mind, there's different fairies here. Some of them actually look the same if you look on the sides. So I'll look at this fairy and that fairy. See, two of the same fairies right there, guys. See that? Where they're going to be different is when you go to the rares. The rares right here. See the rares? So you got different rares and you've got ultra rares here and legendary. So you know what you want to do is when you go to the store, you ought to look at these and say, okay, which fairies do I really want to get? Unless, you know, you get both and who cares? And hey, if you didn't get the one you like, go find a friend, somebody who has the blue one and swap, exchange or trade. And I'm keeping my ultra rares and legendaries. They're not going to get a hold of those unless that little fairy little stink comes out and goes into the other one. And then how do you like hurry and close it and get it back? We'll find out. Okay. So it's the same thing, guys. I mean, just like I said, the only difference is, is what you have in the rares, ultra rares and legendaries. Let's go ahead and open up and catch a fairy. And then what we'll do is we'll see if we can swap fairies here. And don't forget the last one, limited edition. And we want to take a look at that because apparently the jar glows in the dark. So you get some special features here. And also, don't forget, you got different. Oh, I'm going to look at this. Yeah, you got different. Oh, the rares. You know what? When you look at this, guys, here's something else to consider. So the rares on this one, we have a total of five. 
and you got two ultra rares in the pink, and then you've got three legendaries, where the blue, ooh, it's got three ultra rares and four legendaries, so you get one more at the blue. It's good to be a boy, because you get more. Well, it goes with the color, you know, what can I tell you? But how about the limited edition? Okay, how many rares? Oh, the rares have one more total of seven as compared to the six for the blue and six for the pink. What about the ultra rares? Okay, they got the same three legendaries. The blue takes the cake, it's got four legendaries, and this one only has three. Wow, I think blue's my favorite. Open it up and slice it using our Swiss Army knife, and we can pull it. Still have oh, tape on this side. Maybe it'll just pull off. There you go. Don't forget our Caesars. Atubute. Shakespearean. And there's blue. Guys, you see any difference here? I mean, besides the obvious, you have a blue top with a blue frame, pink top with a pink frame. And by the way, the top's already open by default, so it should be catching a wee fairy. Oh, we better close the lid so she doesn't escape. There we go. Shut it. <laughs> and you know what, guys? I looked on it and we got an ultra rare. Woo! Yes! Her very first fairy. Oh, she laughed. Yeah, she agrees. <laughs> oh, yeah, she does Zerbert and Toot. <laughs> That bottle looks really cool, the purple, and with the, this pink around it. And that's a cool looking jar. Guys, last but not least is our limited edition, and this one's a Walmart exclusive. So if you want this one, you gotta go to Wally World. What's interesting about the commons, all the common ones are all just solid colors with a darker highlight of that color around them. Well, that's pretty cool. Anyways, just notice that. Awesome. Let's go ahead and open it up and pull that. Look at that. That's different than this right here. This one looks like it's something that would glow in the dark. Yes. And then also look at the leaves around here. So this may glow in the dark, the wreath, and also the leaves. And if you take a look at the window frames into the jars here, out of all of them, the limited edition looks like it's got a metallic finish. Looks super cool. First of all, I want to check out the glow in the dark and then we'll catch our first fairy. Okay guys, there's the two jars that don't glow in the dark, just so you can compare and contrast. You have the pink one over here and then we have the blue jar and it looks pretty cool with the black light. Okay, and then we got our glow in the dark. So the handle and the leaves around the jar are supposed to glow in the dark. And I wonder if the jar actually glows in the dark. Now, the reason why we're using a black light is because it charges the glow in the dark particles up faster and it gets them to last a lot longer. So here we go in three, two, one. Oh man, look at that, that is so cool. And the jar, it glows in the dark too. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Guys, put that next to your bed at night. Okay guys, now to catch our first fairy, let me go ahead and flip it over and switch it on. And we got the top open, so we're ready to catch our first fairy. I love that green, that green looks so awesome. And it's the Disco Inferno Fairy. So let's see what kind of emotes she can do. Hello. Oh my gosh, I forgot to close the lid and another fairy flew in. Now, I don't know what kind of fairy this is. It doesn't even look like a fairy. It looks like a pumpkin head baby with fairy wings. Maybe it's a baby fairy. I want to see if I actually caught the other one if it stayed in the jar. Go to settings. Hit the collections. Oh, good. I think it actually kept my other fairy. Let me go over. 
It's her disco fairy. Oh, and you know what? She's legendary. Whoa! Yes! She didn't fly away. It made her a home. Man, think of all the work I have to go through to find her again. I don't know how many more captures I'd need after that it defaults and goes back to fat head baby fairy. I don't see him anywhere on that uh, cylinder container at all. Let's go ahead and have some fun and find out what kind of emotes this dude does. Now what I want to do is to figure out how we can go ahead and share the fairy jar. Well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and take it um, from our legendary jar over here and see if we can go ahead and get fat head baby fairy or maybe the legendary to come over here. Let's see if that works. Okay, so let's hold both buttons down and go over into the settings and toggle over until we can get to the swap fairy jars. So both lids have to be open, one, two, and now what do we do? Just hit both buttons, and then we're taking our legendary jar and pouring it on top. See, there we go. Let's see if it goes down inside it. Which fairy's gonna go down? It's our fat head fairy going down into here. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so fat head fairy is now in the blue jar. Push and hold the bottom button down, go to our collection, push it again, one, two, fat head fairy, three. Does that mean we lost our fat head fairy over in the legendary jar? Go to our collection, push it again, and then we go one. We still keep our fat head. That's cool. So it looks like it just gives you a copy of the fairy and you won't lose your legendary either. That's awesome. So guys, out of all the fairy jars, which one's your favorite to capture your fairies in? Is it gonna be by color like the pink, the purple, limited edition, or the blue? Well, the purple's kind of nice because it glows in the dark. And by the way, guys, you don't wanna turn the lid here because it doesn't twist. And if you twist it, it breaks. Well, there you go. All the fairies are gone. You may not get them back. So just for decoration. Well, except for the lid where you flip it open to capture your fairies, right? Now, if you're more into capturing legendary fairies, the best bang for your buck's gonna be the blue, as we went over, because here in the blue, you get a total of four legendary fairies and then the other two you only get three and then if you're looking at ultra rares well then stick with the blue or the purple because they get three each but the pink you only get two and then when it comes to the rares you get six in both the pink and the blue but the limited edition you get a total of seven the other thing we found out is the qr codes you want to hold on to these cylinders because on there you can go ahead and scan it like you see right here go ahead and hold your smartphone up to the screen here guys quick scan it it'll take you right to the fairy site can you do it now oh look, get it again oh you can't do it we did both the qr code on the pink and the blue and we were able to see the same fairies. You don't get different fairies, but it's still pretty cool with the fairies that you do see. When I did it for the limited edition, the Walmart, unless we got a lemon, this one took me to another site. Okay guys, this is how you're gonna capture your fairy. It says it's too dark because my hand's on it right here. You see how the smartphone is moving back and forth. It says it wants you to slowly move across the floor so it can detect where the floor's at. And then three or four feet up, you're gonna see your fairies. So let it go. Over across the, oh, there you go. As soon as you see it pop up. Oh, there's our fairies right there. Now, you guys want to capture a fairy? You can hit the circle here, take a picture, but then, you know, what kind of picture we get in there? Okay, find a fairy that you like. When you get one that's kind of close, push and freeze it, and then move your camera in. Steady, steady, steady. And when you get close enough that you like the picture, hit the circle right here, take the picture. Now you just caught your fairy, and there's our fairy. We caught her. And then if you wanna record the fairies, well, first of all, let go of the screen with your thumb. They start moving around. Just hold the circle down and you see the red that goes around the circle? That's how much recording time you get. And it even uses the mic to record your voice. Well, there she goes. Oh, she's hiding in the couch. And look, she's got a heart for you. She says, like and subscribe. Okay, it seems like you got about five minutes of idle time without doing anything to your jar before. <gasps> There you go. She gave a big sigh and she just went to sleep. Okay, now to bring the fairy back out of sleep mode, just go ahead and push one of the buttons. Okay, now for game mode, woo! Go ahead and hit the bottom button once you see this icon on the screen. Oh look, you're a flying fairy trying to dodge the clouds. Oh, those clouds are getting faster. Oh, those clouds are picking up speed. Can I break a thousand? Oh yeah. Oh, new record, woo! 
And guess who else likes fairies? His baby yogurt, Grogu. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep him away from FNF. &F. It's not Fun Night at Freddy's, it's fairies and frogs. <laughs> now it's time to get some fairies. Yeah, we have fairies, get out. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.